When we look at the story of creation, it's clear that in the beginning, God created only two people, Adam, the first man, and Eve, his wife. He then commanded this first couple to be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. In this original creation account, there's no mention of any other people that God directly created who were not the descendants of this first pair. For various reasons, however, some have wondered if God directly created other humans later or during the creation that are not mentioned. Often, the idea arises based on assumptions that the various races we see today couldn't have come from one pair. Sometimes this suggestion comes up as an answer to where Cain got his wife, who's mentioned in Genesis chapter 4. Other times it springs from a misunderstanding of modern scientific information that on the surface seems to suggest that it would take more than the original two people to account for the genetic diversity in modern humans. These questions we've answered in other places, and none of these situations demand that more people are needed other than Adam and Eve. But while they don't demand that more people are needed, could it be a possibility? Couldn't we speculate that this might have been the case? When we look at the biblical account of the beginning of humanity, we see a straightforward answer to this question of speculation. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 20, the text says that Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. We may wonder what the phrase all living means. It certainly can't mean all living animals or plants. What does it mean that she was the mother of all living? It simply means that she was the mother of all living people. Throughout the rest of the book of Genesis, we see the genealogy of Adam and Eve, and we realize that the pair obediently followed God's instructions to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Eve, the mother of all living, was ultimately the long-distant relative of Mary who gave birth to Jesus who was the seed of woman who had come to crush Satan under his feet, as God had predicted in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Adam and his wife Eve brought sin into the world, and all their human descendants suffered because of their sin. Ultimately, the Savior, who came from the seed of woman, provided a way for all humans who descended from that first pair to be reunited with their God.